Hello Internet and welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm trying a new format. I'm going to be actually commenting the video instead of recording my voice and uh, step by step while I am patching the Neutron. So it's like my voice has been recorded apart from the video. So please tell me what do you think of this format and if you like it, there's going to be two videos in this format for now, just to test out this one and the other one is coming next week. So yeah. Please leave in the comments your thoughts on this new format. Now, in this tutorial, we'll be exploring the wizardry of amplitude modulation and the neutron. But before we dive into this tutorial, if you'd like to support the channel, you can consider becoming one of my Patreon, buy my presets on Gumroad, or just leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Things like that helps the channel a lot. Content like this is posted every week and special content for my Patreon. Now, let's dive into this tutorial. Okay, so first off, let's send an ARP with some random gate modulation. Envelope should be no attack, sustained to the max, and a little bit of release. Now, let's bypass the overdrive circuit by routing the VCF to the VCA as the usual. Now let's set the filter to bandpass, some resonance, and let's play a little bit with the cutoff. Now let's route the LFO to the VCA CV to get the AM effect, and let's play with the LFO speed. Now don't be shy with the LFO speed, this is where the magic happens. The higher you go, the better it is. Try different LFO shapes to taste. I'm going to stick with the triangle wave. Now let's trigger the sample and hold with the incoming MIDI notes. And let's use the sample and hold to modulate the LFO speed. Let's introduce a little bit of delay. I'm using the Ocean's 12 pedal for that. Always play with the resonance and the cutoff to taste. And now let's add a little bit of the internal delay from the neutron. Really fast delay with a lot of feedback, just to give it like some grittiness, and add character to it. Now, let's send the sample and hold to the malt. First malt will modulate the LFO speed and the second malt will be inverted and will modulate the cutoff. Always try with, without, so you can get an idea of what sounds better for what you're doing.
Now, let's introduce a really plucky envelope modulation to the filter cutoff. No sustain, just a tiny bit of decay, no release, no attack. Try different wave shapes, see what suits best. And with this, this is the end of this tutorial. I really hope you've liked it. I really hope you've learned something new. Have a great one.